Okay, so I just sort of slapped some streaks on with my brush that I'd actually put quite a bit of paint on and then wiped it off with this. And then I sort of gooped it on and now I'm just going to kind of go back and forth until it looks like some little kid with a brush came along and tried to paint this antique dresser. <laughs> the look I'm going for is little kid paint. And I'm like pushing pretty hard trying to get the rest of the paint off the brush. The brush is like almost completely dry. Like I, I can hardly get any more paint off it. And I want it to be like that before I dip it again. As you can see, like there's a spot that's got more. But this is just the first layer. So after I get the whole thing painted with one messy sloppy coat like this, here's the drawer top, see. Um, very rough. Um, some of them are, you know, pat patches of paint thicker in some parts. Anyway, after I get this first coat done, then I'm going to do a light sanding over all of it. And then I'm going to do this color again, except I'm going to water it down a little bit and make it thinner. Um, and do another coat. Okay, so basically I've done over the whole thing once. And I don't really know, I mean, it's, I don't know how well you can see this. But anyway, um, some places I just slapped it on. Other places, like on this edge here, I put it on a little thicker. There's really no rhyme or reason to it, especially with the first coat, because... Um, like I said, you just want it to look like a kid painted it, or, I don't know, like a drunk person, if that suits you better. Um, I just want to kind of show you, it's, it's really not, you know, there, it's not perfect. You don't want it to be perfect with this, I don't know, with this kind of project, with an antique piece that was already pretty beat up. The top, you can see, has, I hope you can see, has quite a few scratches. Um, I did sand this down really smooth before I started painting, um, but I didn't want it to be really, you know, super smooth, like, you know, factory finish. That's not what I'm going for, which is the joy of do-it-yourself because we don't want factory finish. At least I don't. Um, I went hand-painted, loved through the years, drunk person painted it, look, because that's, you know, kind of the goal. That's what we're all after, right? Like a drunk person came in and painted all your furniture. Okay, I'm kidding. That's a joke. Um, anyway, here you go. So those are all the pieces so far. And I'm going to let this dry for a little bit, and then I'm going to come out and give it a light sanding with about a 180 grit sanding block. It's like, oh, about a medium grit. Um, and sand off some of this again, and then water my paint down and actually put another coat on. I might get really fun and add a little bit of blue to it. Um, just for funsies. It's the thrill of how it might turn out, knowing that it might turn out really stupid looking. But then I'll have it documented for all of you to see that... Um, how I refinish furniture and by the seat of my pants. There should be a name for that. Um, uh, okay, those are my kids yelling in the back, so I'll shut this off now. Okay, I mixed up some more paint, and here is the result so far. I sanded down just really, really lightly. I don't even know if I got, took anything off of the first coat. Um, and then dry brushed on the turquoise over the green. I don't know if you can even see. I don't know. Anyway, um, the, top, the top again, very, very rough. Um, but I tried to go with the grain as much as I could um, so that it would look like brush strokes. Because again, I wanted it to look like a drunk person painted it. Um, and I took, I tried to take a picture of the paint I mixed up. This over here is, let me get it here. This was the original color that I painted. Uh, which was this mist tint with a little bit of that mist tint mixed in to get this pretty, pretty color. Uh, kind of a real deep blue-green. It's more like a green-blue, I guess. And then I added some of my craft paint. Um, I just, whenever I see craft paint on sale, um, I grab it. If it's a blue or a gray or a green, I always buy it. Um, and this time I happen to use, uh, can you see this? Maybe not. This is, um, it's called Tahitian Blue. Anyway, I used a whole thing of this and then another, almost this whole thing, um, in about a quarter cup of that. <laughs> and I actually didn't water it down this time um, because I wanted it to, to be kind of bright over the green. Um, I wanted mostly the turquoise to show with a little bit of the green. Um, and now my decision is, after this dries, um, to kind of sand it down on the edges real well so I can get a real worn look on the edges. And then I think I'm going to 
So I don't know. I won't tell you till after I do it. <laughs> and then we'll see what it looks like when it's done. And I still need to decide what I'm going to do with the hardware, which at this point, because I'm so cheap, um, this is what came off of it. Pretty boring. And it's not original to the dresser. I got it from my friend, and she put those on probably in the 70s. Um, I may just go ahead and paint those, um, just spray paint them. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. I'll have to wait till it's all done and see what, what color would look cool next to that. Okay, um, waiting for this to dry and then I'm going to play some more. Okay, I'm going to show you how I'm doing the sanding. I'm using um, a sanding block and this is a, um, gosh, I don't know what grit this is. It's really coarse because I want to do the edges. And this is how I get the worn look. And you can go this direction with it. And you can see it takes off a good bit of the paint. I'm not pushing really hard, just enough to get some of that of that paint off and then as soon as I'm done with that I find my other sanding block which is really uh, pretty smooth this is the 180 and I just kind of gently go over it just to smooth it out a little bit okay so then you get an idea and um, I use this for the edging too I don't know if they let's go on this one and I just I just do it once across and it, it takes it right off of there see so I don't want to do too much. And I wouldn't use this on this part because it will leave marks. I just use this really rough for um, for edges, for corners and edges where I want it to look really beat up. I've already done this side seat. It's not a whole lot different than the rest of the... I just I want it to look like people have been grabbing this drawer for years and years and years and years. So anyway. Okay, so that's how I stand the drawers. And I'll do the same thing um, along the top. I'm going to... Um, I'll just show you. I'm just going to go one time. Okay, two times along the edge to pull that paint off of there so I get a nice edge. And then this is so rough that once it sands it, it's, it leaves it pretty rough, and that's why I go back back up over with my lighter to kind of wipe the top the sanding bit off, and that leaves some of the wood exposed. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it doesn't take, when you're using this kind of coarse paper, it does not take a lot of pressure. Um, I wish they made sandpaper like this for my wrinkles. Um, but they don't. Um, gosh, it would be nice though. Okay, um, anyway, so so when you're sanding, you have to be careful with wood. <laughs> so um, you don't want to go down too far. I mean, if you do, you'll just have to repaint that section again. Anyway, I have not done the top yet. I'm still waiting for it to kind of dry a little bit. Um, and I probably won't sand the top. I'm just going to sand around the edges. And so there you go. Okay. Um, when you're using this really coarse paper, remember I told you only you go this way? But, um, and that's pretty much what you're going to do, but with this dresser, I want to distress the edges even more. So I'm taking it on the edge, and I'm just going lightly this way in little sweeping motions like this. This is what I did on the corner of the um, drawers, too, just to wear away a little bit of that paint. And I've discovered while doing this, this is one of the fun things with playing, um, that because I put two layers of paint on this, when I go, um, when I it across, it pulls a little bit of the blue off until you can see the green. Now see there, I took a little too much off, I'm not real happy with that, but you know, that's what happens when you're trying to film and sand at the same time. Um, anyway, so that's just another another thing I wanted to tell you. If you don't want, if you just want it distressed on the side, you just want to use this on the edge. But for me, I wanted to take some of the paint off the edge and into the top a little bit, into the top of the, can you see that? Into the top of the um, dresser. I feel like I'm rambling. Just pretend like I'm like, like you're my girlfriend and you're sitting in my garage and I'm yakking with you and um, that we have little W oatmeal pies and um, Diet Coke or whatever your drink of choice is um, with me and that's why I'm just yakking. So anyway, okay, next.